video I'm going to demonstrate how to properly torque down the uh, rod bearing bolts on the S54 uh, engine uh, mostly fa found in the uh, E46 M3 also in the Z4M alright so the procedure goes as follows this is what the factory called for first step you gotta get your get your uh, torque wrench and you gotta hand tighten the, these bolts in you gotta set it first uh, setting is to five new new meters so here you go you do five five right there five and you want to switch in between so the proper so there's even pressure on both sides second step is 30 30 newton meters there it is you got the 30 30 30 now the third step which is the fun part I guess is uh, you gotta get your uh, torque, ang tor torque angle uh, there's plenty of them around I found this little guy to be uh, pretty helpful it's made by brown line it's a it's a torque angle gauge and it basically it's uh, it's very versatile because you basically could put it on any wrench and it will measure your torque angle whatever you're doing with that wrench which is kind of neat you know because uh, basically you have a breaker bar like something like this you just place it on and it measures your tor torque angle um, to the desired setting that you set it to. So, in step three, you, you need to set this to 105 degrees. So your, your torque angle is 105 degrees. You set it to 105 degrees, right? And then you place it on your wrench. I'm gonna place it, place it in a way so it's convenient for you. So you're comfortable with it. And you also always want to, you know, do a dummy uh, test, basically to um, make sure you have enough room when you swing it, uh, not to hit like your radiator or anything else that might be in the way. So uh, here's a dummy test. So I'll make sure I want to ha I have enough room. So I'm gonna try start over here, and here we go. Start measuring it. That's 80, 90, 105. So 105 ends up right here if I start all the way at the top, which should be all right. Okay, so now let's go live. Here it goes. You want to you wanna set it, you want to set your your wrench on the bolt uh, it's you know in a ready uh, state and you want to zero it out to start measuring your angle want to apply pressure so that, so there's no there's no uh, movement here and here we go 105 105 right there Five. Let's do one hundred and five on this one. I'm gonna zero it out. And here we go. One hundred and 
25.5 all right and it beeps first the leds turn yellow when you get to about 95 i believe and then it turns green once you reach uh 104 and it starts beeping when you reach 105. all right so that was the first sequence i have to do this three times so now what you do is you reverse your uh, your wrench and you turn it 360 degrees basically as you see the bolt is pretty much loose now you could hand turn it there you go now you could hand tighten it now so you, that's what you want to do you want to and tighten it and you go to step one step one again is again five millimeters there it is five 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 again five is very light now once you do five you want to do second step is do 30 you want to do 30 make sure it's properly set at 30 whatever torque uh, wrench you're using all right 30 it is Thirty. Thirty right there. Now third step is again 105 degrees. So reverse your your uh, torque angle. Alright, 105 degrees, zero it out. And here we go. One and five. Again, uh, the important thing is you want to do it in one swing. You don't want to uh, start, stop, and then move again. You want to do it in one one simple swing, one constant sw swing, should I say? All right. Here it goes. And uh, again, you want it. Uh, you want to be. Uh, you want to be on a flat surface. Like if you're doing it on the garage floor, you don't want nothing underneath that has wheels, like those creeper uh, type of um, pads that uh, allow you to slide in. You don't want to be on one of those because it's very hard to. Uh, to keep steady when you're doing a 105 degree torque angle all right so here it goes 105 degrees zero it out zero here we go and then five all right now the second sequence now last time you, you back it out 360 degrees right like that three hundred and sixty degrees see they're loose you can hand that tighten them and we do start from step one which is Five newton meters. Five. Five. Now you move to thirty.
30. Thirty. Thirty. All right, and now you take your torque angle and you do hundred and five. Put it back. All right. I'm gonna place it on the bolt so it's nice and and straight. And here we go. We wanna zero it out. Zero, you do 105. 105. All right. five on this one make sure it's nice and steady all right and five point three actually once you do that you're pretty much done you move, you move on to the next uh, cylinder. So that is uh, that is the whole procedure in a nutshell.